Good afternoon, YouTube. Um, today I'll be doing a carburetor rebuild on a 2004 Honda Foreman. It's a 450. Um, the owner is saying that the uh, float is stuck or the, the float pin is stuck. And when you turn the gas on, it just keeps coming out the overflow uh, tube. So we're gonna take it apart and pull the carburetor out of it and then see what's going on in it. I have a rebuild kit. All right, so that's what we're doing. I'll be back. Okay, before I get too far ahead of myself, let me tell you how to disassemble everything. So the seat comes off, there's a lever right here on the side and you take the seat off, okay? That way you can get to everything down in here. Um, next thing is we need to take this whole shroud off. Okay, the shroud is, is held on with two bolts on this side and two bolts on this side. They are, where are they? These, they're 10, 10 millimeters. This is the lower one. These are the upper ones. Okay, so those are 10 millimeters. Then everything else are these uh, plastic push, push pins. So those push pins are right here. These can stay on but it's the same same concept, okay? So those push pins there, there's a push pin here, and there's, there's a uh, push pin down there. And then this just comes off. This is on with little, little, um, they just fit into rubber grommets, okay? They just pop in. So that's on the one side right here, you see? These rubber grommets. So that pops off. You, here's the screws here, This this is broken. Uh, right here, right there, okay? And then, then you take that off, and then you can take off these straps so you can move the tank around, but the tank's really not in the way. Okay, the next thing that has to come out is the air box. This is the air box, and that's in with uh, those push, uh, plastic push pins right there. And then uh, you disconnect the, the air breather from there with the clamp. Okay, and then after the air box, then you have access to the carburetor. Now this one was in terrible shape. You can see everything is rusted, rusted, rusted. It's been out. These screws holding the, um, you can see they're all, I had to, I had to cut this one because uh, it was seized and the threads just disintegrated. Same thing with this one, the threads disintegrated, but I was able to get it out. I was able to get those out, but I haven't opened it up yet. I can't wait to see what it's like inside. Well, it's in bad shape. You can see it's in, it's in bad shape. Everything is, is really, if you look at this thing, it's, it's been out and it's been through the works. So anyhow, so that's how you take everything apart. Oh, this, this is uh, on top of the, um, um, this lays up on top here. So you just, this is the only thing holding it on. You just pull it out of the hoses and everything and then pop it off. This has um, a hose here and that hose goes around to, this is a big hose. This, this hose here is attached to here, here and uh, where are you here is a hose that goes into this and that's this hose right here so it sits it sits like this these bottom ones go onto the carburetor and then this top one goes into that thing the, um, so that's the filter i told you about that already so everything is disassembled now the fun part is to see what it looks like inside here all right that's next I forgot to mention that this was completely disintegrated too. This is the clamp that holds the uh, the rubber manifold. This manifold goes this, this manifold goes here like that. Okay. So this disintegrated because the rubber just just disintegrated and this was seized on there. So I had to cut the band 
to get it off. Hopefully yours is not in this kind of condition and everything will just, you, you shouldn't have to take this off. You should just be able to get the carburetor off. You, you loosen this up and you can take the, uh, the strap off and then pull on, it's be this end, pull the, uh, the carburetor out from here. Okay, so that's that. Now I'm gonna take the carburetor apart. Okay, we got it cracked open and it doesn't look much better inside than it did outside. This, I just took off the, um, this is, I, I believe this is an air fuel uh, mixture. So this was the original. And I put this on there. And what I suggest, you see how it's shiny at the bottom there? I, uh, I marked the threads on here with a uh, Sharpie. And I screwed it back in at the same distance. And then we can adjust. But at least that's a starting point. I don't know if you can see the, the black lines in there. Maybe you can't see them. But I, I, um, I marked. I put them next to each other. And I marked them. And then I... Uh, and put it in there exactly the same as the old one was. All right, so that's the first thing I did. Here is the, the uh, gasket that was in there, completely disintegrated. So put this, I'm putting all the old, the old parts in there. I have to get, usually the kit has screws, new screws for the outside, new screws for the four screws. You know, that go, that go down in here. None in this kit. So I'm gonna have to go um, I'm gonna have to go buy four new screws. I'm gonna have to go to uh, Ace and find some screws. Here's the float. There's the float needle. Um, this is different. I've never seen something like this. This goes basically in these these uh, things go in the float somehow, and then this sits around. Um, where's the opening? This sits down in in this circle down in the bottom so I've never I've never seen a setup like that before with, with this little extra um, I don't know it's like a clip almost because the, the these these prongs go well, you can't see what I'm doing these prongs go in there like that and these these openings here all right so I'm gonna just start disassembling this is next this try to get that out and um, and just put all the different little bits and pieces in and then uh, I'm gonna run this through my parts cleaner this is definitely I, I can't get it apart these things are seized on here the the throttle the throttle connectors are seized on here and this wire this is some kind of sensor uh, that is seized on there too you I don't know if you can see how corroded that is I can't get that off I'm not gonna break it so I was gonna put the whole carburetor in my parts cleaner but I'm just gonna put the bowl and just clean the bowl all right I'll be back okay so I put all the old jets and the bowl in the sonic the sonic cleaner I'm gonna sit at 40 480 seconds and I'm gonna run it twice at that at that uh, time. So you fill it with water and then you put a bag in there with some parts cleaner uh, fluid. And then you put your parts in the bag and we'll see how they come out, all right? Okay, I'm gonna go over one last thing and then I'm gonna button this thing up because I don't have the parts to finish it. So I'm gonna conclude the video. But you see, that's the uh, the seat that the the float pin goes into. And it, usually they have a way to unscrew it so you can replace them or clean them. Or they, uh, they have like a screw like on the side here somewhere. And then you can wedge it out. You take the screw off that's retaining it. This one looks like there's no way to get it out. So what we do in that case is we get some, we get some ear swabs, some cotton swabs. You dip it in your parts cleaner, and then you put it on your drill, okay? Like it's a drill bit. And then 
well, I won't be able to do this because I need three hands to do it. But anyhow, you put you put your tip your, with, with the parts cleaner fluid on it inside there and try to clean it as good as possible. Because even though the pin might be clean, the, um, the seat might be dirty and it's still not gonna make a good seal. So I'm gonna do that real quick and I'll show you how it looks and then we'll finish the video. Okay, so I'm gonna conclude the video. I'm just gonna go over the tools that you need to disassemble and reassemble. I'm gonna show you the parts. You saw how dirty they were before I put them in the parts cleaner. I'm gonna show you how they cleaned up in the parts cleaner. And then these are the damaged, uh, the, the owner has got to purchase a new um, rubber, whatever you want to call this, intake manifold, I guess. Um, this is broken off. And then, like I said, this was seized up and the threads were destroyed inside there or the, um, the fittings for the, for the Phillips head. And so we had to cut that. So we need a new one of these. We need a new one of these and uh, he's ordering it, so I can't do anything else till that comes in to put it back together again. So what you need to disassemble, you need a 10 millimeter socket and a 3 8 ratchet. I would use 3 8 or one quarter inch, but 3 8 probably work a little better depending on like this thing was sitting out and, and was rusted. So you need the, the extra oomph that a 3 8 would do. You need a flathead screwdriver and that is to for the um, the fittings inside the the jets inside the uh, inside the um, carburetor. These are all these are all Phillips head. And then you need a seven millimeter socket, quarter inch socket to get this this out. This is the jet that goes over the needle. The, the throttle the throttle needle that's on the throttle block that goes up and down. You can see these are cleaned now. You look at them, they're still a little tarnished, but let me see if I can focus on them. No, I can't really focus, but the, the everything is cleaned out really nice. You look at these, he's cleaned out really nice. this one you can see let's see if I can focus can't focus anyhow you can see oh, you can't really see okay well you can see on the bowl there's the bowl remember how dirty that was look at the bowl now this was two cycles at 480 seconds. And you can see even the rubber, it cleaned up the rubber. It cleaned, it cleaned up everything. These screws are, are fused in. I can't get them out, so I couldn't take it apart any further without breaking, without break. This is all aluminum. So I would break the housing or break the screws. We don't need that. Here's the old screws. Remember I said that these were all rusted. I got new screws. This I didn't put through there. That's just the float. I have new screws here from uh, Ace. So we're gonna put those in. Um, tools that you need. I didn't finish saying that. So we got the 10 millimeter, three eighths, the Phillips head, or rather the flat head, Phillips head. But I would use the Japanese kind. It has the blunt tip. So you get more more purchase on the on the um, the what do you call it the fitting. Uh, you're gonna need an angle an angle pliers to pull out some of these little bits. Needle nose pliers. You're gonna need um, angle picks. Angle picks, and those are gonna be used. Um, these these are the fittings that we're holding the the. Uh, the quad together, the, the, the plastics. See, these are the, the pins, those push pins. So you're gonna need that, these angle, you're gonna need these angle picks to pull this piece out so you can pull the whole thing out. So that's to disassemble. And then I would use, well, you could just tap it in. You could use this to tap it in or, or the, the back of the screwdriver or something. 
to tap those back in. You're gonna need, uh, seven, like I said, seven millimeter quarter inch to get this out. So this is as far as I was able to to uh, disassemble. Um, I'm not gonna try and go in any further than that. Hopefully, hopefully clean. I, oh, here's how, how, look how good the float pin came, came out from the cleaner. It cleaned it really nice. So that's all the clean parts. They're going to go back in. Um, uh, you can look at them compared to the fresh parts are a lot shinier. But um, on some of these, some of these that the, uh, the holes are, are too small. The jets are not the right size. So I'm just going to go and put the old stuff back in. Because then we don't want to bog down or, or not feed it well. So, all right. So that's, and there's some of the old parts in with some of the new parts. So, I have the new gasket still in there. I'm going to put it all back together again when I have all these, when I have this part and I have this part. But I'll just conclude the video. So, disassembly is like I described it. And then once you have the carburetor finished, reassemble. And, um... Like I said, I couldn't take it apart because this uh, the throttle the throttle um, cables are seized on, and also this uh, this I don't know what the why it's some kind of sensor. I'm I'm guessing it's it's a throttle sensor to see where it's where it is. Um, some kind of electric sensor. Can't get that off either. And you can see this is all. Look at how corroded everything is. So there's no point in breaking anything further. So. I'll just leave it as is. I cleaned that out. I have three. I don't know if you can see in there. It looks a lot better. It's a lot shinier in there, so it should seat well. And that's it. All right, Mike Machine's out.